Okay, this is on chapter four, and it's on linear systems of equations with two unknowns. On this example, it says Roger decided to make a gold ring from two different alloys. One alloy contains 75% gold, and the other contains 60% gold. How many grams of the 60% gold should be mixed with 75% gold to make a gold ring, which is 70% gold and weighs 40 grams? Okay, think of this as a container that contains the alloy that is 75% gold. And we don't know how much of this stuff we have, so we'll say we have X grams of this this alloy that is 75% gold. A gold ring, by the way, is not 100% gold. <clears throat> now, this bucket, think of this as being a bucket that contains an alloy which is 60% gold. 40% of it is some other type of metal, and we don't know how much of this we have. And we're trying to put these two together so that we end up with a gold ring that is 70% gold and weighs 40 grams. Well, this is a typical mixture problem here. And with a mixture problem, we have two unknowns. You know, on this one, anyway, we have two unknowns. And uh, if you have two unknowns, you have to have two equations to solve it. Now, one equation is based on the amount of alloy in each bucket. X grams of this alloy plus X grams of this alloy in this bucket, X grams plus Y grams of this alloy has to add up to 40 grams total. Now, the other equation is based on the amount of gold. Like, for example, if we had 100 grams of, of this alloy and 75% of it is gold, then 75 grams of it would be gold because we would take 0.75 times 100. Now, we don't know how much of this stuff we have. We call it X. So how much of this stuff is gold? Well, 75% of the X grams, or 0.75 times X. By the same idea, 60% of Y is gold, or 0.6 times Y is the amount of gold. And over here, how much gold we ha do we have? Well, not 40 grams of gold, but we have 70% of this 40 grams, or 0.7 times 40 is the amount of gold that we want to end up with. Well, that gives us two equations, x plus y equals 40, and 0.75x plus 0.6y equals 0.7 times 40, which is 28. Uh, now, to solve a system of equations, which this is, you can solve it by several ways. One is I could solve an equation for a variable, like, for example, I could solve the top equation for y and get y equals 40 minus x, and substitute the 40 minus x in there for y on the second equation, and then I'd have an equation with only one variable in it, and I could solve it. I just solve a linear equation. I get my answer then for x, substitute it back in, and I get my answer for y. Another way is called elimination, where you multiply an equation by a number so that a variable eliminates. Like if I multiply the top equation by negative 0.75, the x's multiply that clear across. Then when I add, the x's would cancel out, and I would just get a certain amount of y equals a certain number, and I could solve it for y, back substitute, and get x. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Excel to solve this system of equations. And to solve them, you need to get the equation in this standard form right here, where the x's and y's are on the left-hand side and your numbers are on the right-hand side. So on the Excel sheet, you go to the linear system sheet. And here, you can see the format that the equations need to be in, and we need to type in our coefficients. So the first equation was 1x, or just x. So your a1 is 1, plus y, so your b1 is 1 equals 40. Your second equation was 0.75x, so your a2 is 0.75, plus 0.6y equals, uh, it was 0.7 times 40. And if you just type in equals 0.7 times 40 and hit enter, you'll get 28. And as soon as you type that in, you'll get your answers right here. It solves it for you. And the X tells you how much of the 75% gold alloy you need. So you need 26.6 repeating, or 26 and two-thirds uh, grams of the 75% alloy. And the Y is right here. And so what that means is we need 13.3 repeating, or 13 and a third grams of the 60% alloy. Now you could check these. First of all, do they add up to 40? They do. If I would substitute this into the second equation of 0.75, five times the 26 and two thirds plus 0.6 times the 13 and, and a third, I would get 28. So that is the answer to the problem. That's how much you would need of each of these, okay? This much of the 75% gold, this much of the 60% gold. Now, if you wanna see the solution, really each one of these is a linear equation. Uh, the one x plus y equals, uh, it was x plus y equals 40. Well, that's gonna be graphed in blue down here. And you can change the start and end, and I always base my start and end to be a little bit before and a little bit after the x value right here. So I started at 20 and ended at 30, and if I do, here's my equation which tells me the amount of uh, 
of uh, well the blue would tell me the amount of metal that I need and the red is the amount of gold that I need and they intersect right here at this coordinate and what is the coordinates of this spot well you can see it'd be about 26 or so and how high is it well it looks to be about 14 units high but to be exact it's right here 26.6 is 13.3 so the point of, in of uh, intersection is where you get your solution to a system of equations Okay, on example two, it says Roger wanted to make some light ice cream that is 10% butterfat. How much ice cream that is 30% butterfat should be added to 10 liters of milk, which is 3% butterfat? And it also asks how much more milk that is 3% butterfat is needed than the ice cream that is 30% butterfat. Well, let's answer the first question first here. He wants to make some ice cream that's 10% butterfat. So that's what he wants to end up with, and it doesn't tell you how much he's going to end up with. Now, it says how much ice cream that is 30% butterfat. Well, we don't know how much. We call that X the percentage is 30%, needs to be added to 10 liters of milk, which is 3% butterfat. So that's 0.03 right there. And uh, now we got two equations. One is X liters of this ice cream, which is 30% uh, butterfat, plus 10 liters of this milk, which is 3% butterfat, is going to give me Y liters. So X plus 10 equals Y. The other equation, this is just the amount of liters. The other equation is the amount of butterfat. 0.3 times X is the amount of butterfat that you get from this ice cream that is 30% butterfat. Okay. 0.03 times 10 is the amount of butterfat that you get from this milk. And that has to equal 0.1 times y, the amount of butterfat that you're going to end up with. Now, this is a system of equation, and it's not ready to be solved on Excel yet uh, because we need to get the x and y's on one, one side. If you want to solve it by hand, you would solve an equation for a variable, which this one already is, and we could just substitute the x plus 10 and for y on this equation right here. And then you could solve it and get your x, back substitute, and get your y. Now, to solve it on Excel, you'd have to take the y to the left and then the 10 to the right. Anytime you move a term, it changes signs. So you would have x minus y equals negative 10. Okay, that's this equation right here. Same way with this. We would have to take this 0.1y to the left. So we'd have 0.3x, taking this to the left will make it negative, minus 0.1y equals, we'll have to take this to the right. So just move this to the left and this to the right, they'll change sign and you'll end up with this system of equations right here. Once you get the system of equations, then you can go ahead and go to Excel and type in your coefficients. My coefficients for my first equation were 1, negative 1, negative 10. In my second equation, they were uh, 0.3. Then right here, it was actually um, negative 0.1 and I'll show you that there, negative 0.1, and then the coefficient or the constant at the end was negative 10 times 0.03, and I actually typed in neg equals negative 10 times 0.03, and that tells me how much uh, butterfat he needs to end up with there. And um, here is your final answer right here. So this is how much he needs to, to add in. This is how much he's going to end up with. Now to answer the question of how much extra of one does he need than the other well he had 10 liters of the uh, of the uh, he had 10 liters of the milk that is 3% butter fat and we ended up with 3.5 liters of the other so if you want to know how much extra he's going to need of the milk than the other one one then we just need to subtract 10 minus 3.5 is 6.5 but this is the point of uh, solution that that's the point of intersection of those uh, two lines right there you can see that by changing your viewing window.